Welcome back, Elon Nation, to another episode of Phoenix Flavor. My name is Jay Vetter. I'm the executive chef here at Elon University, and tonight is going to be fun. We're actually going to bring in a new chef tonight, and I'm just going to get to eat and taste some <laughs> of the goodies we produce. Tonight, we have Keith Griffin. He's a chef here at campus, and he's also the director of residential dining. Keith. Thank you, Jay. So today we are going to make fried chicken. I know it's a, it's a crowd pleaser. We have a, a lot of people that love fried chicken on campus. So today we're actually going to just do a, a very simple um, fried chicken breast. Um, so this is something we're actually going to use in an application a little bit later to make some sandwiches. Um, but it's pretty basic. So we're going to get started with our seasoned flour. So we've got two cups of all-purpose flour here. We've got one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of black pepper. This is one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of cayenne pepper, one and a half teaspoons of paprika. So we're gonna mix everything together with a whisk. A whisk is, uh, makes it a lot easier just to get everything kind of incorporated there. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna separate this flour into two uh, parts. So a typical breading method is flour, egg, flour. We are using flour, buttermilk, and flour. So now that we've got everything mixed up, we're just gonna go into two separate pans, like so. And we've got our buttermilk sitting here right in the middle. Now I like things spicy. Um, you don't have to make it spicy, but if you want to, I always put a little bit of Tabasco or Texas Pete, if you're from North Carolina, um, <laughs> into the buttermilk mixture. So I hit it with just a little bit of Texas Pete. Oh, yeah. Mix it up like so. And one big thing with fried chicken is you always want to make sure your chicken breast is very dry before you put it into the first bit of flour. So I've actually got some Joyce Farms chicken breast. They're here at actually out of uh, Winston-Salem. So these are, uh, this is a nice five ounce chicken breast. So I dried it really well with a paper towel. And then we're gonna go right into the first bit of flour mixture. We wanna get it really good. So this actually helps the um, breading adhere to the chicken. So we got flour. Now we're gonna go right into our buttermilk. Another trick, um, this is something I learned a long time ago, is to have one dry hand and one wet hand. So when you're actually doing a, a lot of chicken, it makes sense. Yes. Uh, when you're doing, you know, 120 pounds of chicken, right now we're doing one chicken breast, so it's a little bit different. Yes. <laughs> um, so I, I had a chef that I worked for that said, uh, you never want your hands to be made into biscuits. So <laughs> to avoid that, we've got a dry hand, and this is gonna be my wet hand. So we're gonna get this coated in buttermilk, like so. And then we're gonna go right into this second bit of seasoned flour. Again, with my dry hand, now I've got uh, the flour coating the outside of this chicken breast. Like so. And I've got a hot pan of oil right here. I will say everyone's got their own preference in oil. Um, peanut oil is great for fried chicken. It's a very neutral flavor. Um, but we are using vegetable oil just because you know we avoid allergens. So if we can go right into our pan. We try to get the, the oil about 325 to 350 degrees. And then we're gonna go right in here. Hopefully have a nice sizzle, which we do. Yes, we do. So we're gonna let this go usually about two to three minutes on each side, just until it's golden brown. Um, as soon as we're done with that, we're actually gonna pull it out of the pan, um, put it on a baking sheet with a rack so that it doesn't get all gunky on the bottom and we're gonna bake it. That way we can kind of control uh, what temperature uh, we have it at and actually keep it from drying out. It also helps with overcooking it in the pan absolutely. and burning it possibly before the chicken gets burned. Yep, absolutely. All right, so we're gonna grab the chicken out of the oven now. And we're gonna assemble a yummy sandwich. I can't wait for this one. All right. So our chicken just came out of the oven. So you can see it's nice and golden brown. Uh, it took about seven to 10 minutes yeah. to finish it off in the oven. So what we're gonna do right now is something I think Chef Jay and I both love is, uh, is a fried chicken biscuit. So, Any chef, type of yeah, I guess that's true. Any fried chicken. Um, so, we actually, uh, Chef Jay here made some biscuits for us a little bit earlier. So, these are drop biscuits. So, what we're gonna do is assemble this really quickly. So, 
We've got our fried chicken and our biscuit right here. So we're gonna actually do a little bit of smoked cheddar cheese down. So we're gonna put that on the bottom here. Our beautiful Joyce Farms chicken breast. And then we actually have a little bit of honey. This is cloister honey. Um, it's actually local to North Carolina. So we're gonna drizzle just a little bit of this on top. You can also spice this honey up if you prefer it a little spicy. Yeah. We all like spicy. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of honey and then we're gonna top the biscuit like so. It's kind of a, it's kind of a monster of a biscuit, so if you wanna cut it in half to eat it, you might have to. Um, but there you go. That is a Joyce Farms fried chicken, smoked cheddar and honey biscuit. Thank you all again for joining us. Again, we sure do miss everybody, but we're having fun with you all and at least staying in contact every week and doing some fun stuff with some basic ingredients you yeah, have and absolutely. get that family time together. I know. We're doing a lot together lately, so we're just like one big happy family That's waiting right. for you guys to come back to us. Yep. Awesome. Thank you all so much.